it is not a miracle drug and it's not entirely safe if you are indian chances are you're either obese or you know someone who is and you know just how brutally hard it is to lose weight but then you open instagram and something stops you someone's just lost 20 kilos a celebrity looks unrecognizably thin everybody looks so great when i look around this room i can't help but wonder is ozempic right for me this is my ozempic baby this is my ozempic baby you wonder what's going on And yes, Elon Musk even tweeted about it. Ozempic is like the drug that everyone's talking about. Welcome to the world of weight loss injections. Oh. 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 This video will change how you think about weight loss forever. It's 2017. No Nordisk, a Danish pharmaceutical giant, launches Ozempic. Nothing flashy, just another diabetes drug. The original goal: help diabetics control their blood sugar. But during this clinical trial, something unexpected happened. Patients weren't just stabilizing their sugar levels; they were losing weight, a lot of it. They were losing, on an average, about 15% of their body weight. Just imagine weighing 80 kilos and losing 12 kilos. No surgery, no crash diets, just a weekly injection. It felt like magic, and that's when the weight loss industry sat up and took notice. But how can one drug do all of that? To understand the hype, you need to know what Ozempic is actually doing inside your body. Ozempic belongs to a class of drugs called glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonist. Sounds complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. Let me break it down. GLP-1 is a hormone your body naturally releases after you eat. It stimulates insulin secretion by doing three magical things: tells your brain I'm full, stop eating, slows down your stomach emptying so you feel full longer, and regulates your blood sugar. Ozempic mimics this hormone. It's like hiring a full-time bodyguard to protect you from your cravings. In India today, a month's supply of Ozempic can cost around eighty-five thousand rupees, more than what most people earn in a month. But here's the kicker: Ozempic isn't even approved for weight loss in India, only for diabetes. And yet the demand exploded. Pharma companies. Rushed with alternatives, Wegovy, Manjaro compounded drugs chasing a hundred billion dollar opportunity. And while they're still figuring how to spell semaglutide, no one orders quietly became bigger than McDonald's and Coca-Cola combined. But with every miracle drug. comes the side of the story that rarely makes the headline Ozempic carries a FDA black box warning the highest warning level for a rare thyroid cancer risk now before you panic even something as common as an ibuprofen carries a black box warning for stroke so a black box doesn't mean do but it does mean that you need to pay attention and here's the uncomfortable truth many people jumped onto Ozempic without fully understanding what they were signing up for Common side effects they could experience were nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and other complications like hair loss, gallbladder issues, and now the famous Ozempic face, sagging, hollow cheeks. But the story goes deeper than the skin. When you lose weight too fast, you don't just lose fat; you also lose muscle along with it. In fact, some studies showed patients could lose up to 39% of their muscle mass. You can end up lighter but weaker, and your face it can sag, melt, almost like a candle left in the sun. But let's pause here because this isn't just about looking older or losing strength. There's a bigger picture that most headlines skip. So we are an expert. Almost 15-20% of my patients have those symptoms. Come back to me that they have a lot of GI. So basically, it has to be updated very slowly and uh, based on weekly, even monthly aspects. We need to increase the dosage. The most important side effect is basically, you know, things like medullary carcinoma thyroid, which some people, yeah. you know, don't ignore. So if a patient has a family history of thyroid neoplasms, the MEN syndromes, yeah. in such patients, you should ideally avoid because then this can cause long-term side effects. And in fact, a few uh, studies which have come up recently have. 
even shown retinopathy as a long term side effect using ozempic long it has to be kept in mind so what i'm trying to tell you is that the patient should be well aware of the side effects drug can have it is not a miracle drug and it's not entirely safe one patient comes to me in the clinic i've seen him up over two months back put him on ozempic and he comes back you see a new person <laughs> this is basically uh, the the fat which is predominantly subcutaneous fat which is lost so in the areas of the face you have sunken cheeks you may have you know sunken uh, eyeballs your your eyeballs are going inside the the subcutaneous fat around the neck region reduces it ages you much fast some of the patients have actually required fillers you know to for the get it back yeah yes. of course it goes back if you stop the medication of course semaglutide has to be taken lifelong if you need the side uh, the effects to come and is, do you think this is a replacement to bariatric surgery i mean is there any or is the comparison not even required i don't think the comparison is valid because okay. you know that we are looking at two different things entirely different uh, things if you compare the two okay. bariatric surgery is is basically uh, for good you know once you've done the bariatric surgery it it basically is lifelong the only issue is of course you require lifelong supplementation b12 supplementation iron supplementation calcium supplementation stuff like that basic thing is that the the weight loss also is more in bariatric surgery you know it's to, to the tune of almost 20 25% in some cases it is less nosempic so as compared to ozempic the weight initial weight loss will always be more in bariatric surgery and okay. bariatric surgery is definite but ozempic is basically you once you stop the medication the weight the weight is going to come back okay. so this has to be told to the patient so these are two different aspects totally so okay. what i would say is that if a patient moderately obese in the mean bmi is around 30 is a diabetic then of course in that in those cases uh, just when you think you've heard it all there's one more twist a side effect no one expected and no one's really talking about it many women who struggled with infertility all these years started with ozempic for weight loss and got pregnant i'm pretty sure ozempic got me pregnant women sharing their stories about new weight loss drugs like wegovy and ozempic I stopped the medication at 3 weeks when I found out I was pregnant. To say despite infertility issues or birth control, they're getting pregnant. It turns out weight loss itself can dramatically improve fertility, especially for women with PCOS. But Ozempic it also tweaks your hormones in ways we're still figuring out. Doctors now warn women to use extra contraception while using Ozempic because even if you struggle to conceive before, your body might suddenly flip the script. Imagine signing up to lose weight and ending up with a baby. This is my Ozempic baby. This is my Ozempic baby. It's another reminder when you tweak one part of your biology, the ripple effects can be bigger and messier than you ever expected. In a world obsessed with shortcuts, Ozempic feels like a miracle. But the human body isn't a machine with buttons. It's a system complex, delicate, and always in conversation with itself. Change one thing, and you unknowingly change everything: metabolism, hormones, fertility, strength, and aging. Because the real weight we carry isn't just on our bodies; it's in the invisible systems we build or neglect every single day.